This nigga finally got another episode out. Finally, nigga. You know how long I've been waiting? Finally. Oh my God, chat. I forgot what happened in the last episode. Bro, we gotta watch this. I do not own Naruto or- Nah, we gotta watch this, bro. Chat, lock the fuck in, bro. We can play Walking Dead. We playing Walking Dead after this. Lock in. Any other series related to it. Fuck? This video is a parody for entertainment purposes. And for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. Yo, this nigga shut up. With all that said, please enjoy the video. Episode 7, the first exam. like that boy Naruto. That's crazy. All right then. Now that I have y'all's attention, let me explain the rules to this first exam. The Dewey this thing. exam is a written test, and your main goal is to answer these questions the same way you think a real nigga would answer these questions. Oh, this is gonna be an easy 100 then. Mm -hmm. The only rule we got set for this exam is there's no cheating, because if you cheat, you a bitch. Now we're gonna start really you off with 10 points. No and you lose a point for each question you get wrong. If you get caught cheating, you'll lose two points. Now, if one of you dumbass niggas fails this entire test, every person on your team fails too. That would have been so fucked up this, bro, in real life. Damn it! Why the f does that have to be a rule? That pink haired meat rider isn't gonna get a single question right. This should be an easy test for you. Don't worry, Naruto. Yeah, you're right, Hinata. But do you think you'll be able to answer every question on this test like a real nigga? I'll be fine as long as I answer them the same way you answer them. She basically just called me a real nigga without saying it. Some may see that as meat riding, but me personally, I see it as a sign of respect. All right, now fix y'all faces, because y'all got one hour to finish this exam starting say now. I should like in school, how the fucking park test was. I was asking those questions. How the hell is there a correct answer for these questions? Damn it. How am I supposed to answer these? It's about time I show these niggas that I'm a real nigga. All I have to do is get these questions right. Now let's see what the first question says. I'm already knowing this test bout to be mad easy. Because the first question says... If you are approached by a group of people and they ask what your shoe size is, how should you respond? My In parentheses, size. it says, these people are black. <laughs> the fuck? What the f does this even mean? <laughs> That's pretty easy. You can either ignore them and keep it pushing, no. or you can stand on business and tell them that your shoe is not their size. Mm. Now let's see what question number two is asking. If you happen to find yourself in a heated argument with someone who has a metal plate in their jaw, what should be your main That's priority? John John. In parentheses, it says, his name is John John. <laughs> what the fuck? How are you even supposed to answer this? And you why run, the hell nigga. is his name important to the question? This is just common sense. Your main priority should be your own safety. Exactly. Because if that nigga really has a metal plate in his mouth and has a name like that, he's probably crazy and fights <laughs> people. These questions don't make any sense. They sound like questions Naruto would ask. They're not real niggas. Wait a minute. Only a select few of us would be able to answer all these questions, and the instructor probably knew that. And going off of the things I heard Naruto say about being a real N-word, he would probably say that they would get answers by any means possible without being caught. So that's probably the actual purpose of this exam. Luckily for me, I believe Naruto knows the answer to all these questions. I just need to find a way to see his answers without getting caught. These niggas are stressing. I don't know how he stress. expects us to answer these. Poor Naruto. He's probably over there struggling, unlike my glorious King Sasuke, yeah, who's probably almost mind. finished. I'll just have to pull my weight and make sure I pass this test to hopefully increase our chances of moving on. We just started, and Lazy. I'm almost done with this test. This is just too easy. Now let's see what question number 10 says. In your own words, define the term real nigga. Chat, Ain't what's no really way to put this is the last question. This is probably the easiest one on the test. 
You know what? I'm gonna purposely really get this wrong James. just so they know I could have answered Ryan. this question correctly, but chose not to. That's some real nigga shit if you ask me. So my definition of that term will be Naruto Uzumaki. S S S for life. What does that mean? He's not even writing anymore, so he's most likely done. But I can't find an opening to see what he put. Okay. Especially since that weird ass Proctor keeps looking over at me. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Because it seems like some people are slowly catching on to the real purpose of this exam. <laughs> even Gara knows that you have to cheat like a monkey to get results sometimes. What the fuck? Since I have just finished my test. I should start planning on how I can make that sand village racist crash out. I'm surprised you can see his paper from here, little buddy. Akamaru as much fire. as I hate on Naruto, I can at least admit that he's probably going to do good on this test. But of course, I'll never let him know that. I fucked it with Kiba, Luckily for me, I That's secretly I slipped an old bead onto Kabuto's chair before we started. So it most likely went in when he sat down. Now all I need to do is listen to the vibrations it's giving off to be able to tell what answers he's putting down. I just realized Dosu probably placed that bead here as a way to cheat. I can't let anyone realize I saw it and willingly sat down without knowing <laughs> it was for cheating purposes. What the fuck? That nigga opened his asshole for this test. Are you sure these are the right answers? You said Kiba and Sasuke were trying to copy Naruto's answers? So you think Naruto's answers are correct then? All right, bro. All right then. That's good enough for me. Because you did good today, I have a surprise for you tonight. Make sure you leave your wings extra oily before coming to see me. Get out my ear, bro. Damn girl, we're in public right now. Whoa. We can't be seen talking like this. So we'll Fucking continue this noise. conversation tonight when you get those wings oiled up. Damn, what can I so do I to make him really mad? Let me leave movie. you with this. I heard he once had a teammate who he thought agreed and supported his beliefs. Gara ended up finding out that was false, and the teammate was never seen again. I have an idea on what I can do with that information. The instigation planning phase is now complete. Okay. Now all I need to do is find the right moment to start the first stage of the instigation itself. Let's do it. I shouldn't have finished the test this early. Because now I'm bored as hell and have to just sit here. The fuck? Damn it. Go to sleep. Since you already finished, can I ask you for a favor? Huh? Why is she stuttering so much? What is she about to ask? If you don't mind, can you give me the N-word pass for one minute? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm just gonna act like I didn't hear that and ignore her. What the fuck? Oof. Damn it. She did technically call me a real nigga earlier, and she listens to young boy too. Fuck it, let's just see what happens. I'll give you the pass for 30 seconds starting from the exact moment I stop talking. So say what you need to say and make it quick. Oh, um, I only wanted it because I wanted to answer the last question by just saying Naruto Uzumaki because he is a real nigga. Because I truly believe that. <laughs> it looks like she actually believes every word that she's saying right now. The realest nigga alive. Bro, she's glazed. This must be what it's like for Sasuke when he gets glazed. But the only difference is. I don't see this as meat writing. I see this as real recognizing real. Nah, nigga, that's glazing. That sounds like a great answer, Hinata. And I appreciate the nice words you said about a young fly nigga like myself. So as a way to say thank you, I want you to keep the N-word pass for as long as you like. Damn. What the fuck did I do? What did you do? You blatantly cheated right in front of me. Don't even explain it to him. Just drag him and his sorry ass team out of my classroom. Oh, that nigga's gone, bro. 
chat on, on some real shit, bro. If I would have failed because a nigga got caught cheating, bro, I'd have been pissed. Sit your ugly ass back down and do your test, little nigga. He got pressed up on a wall in front of a whole classroom the whole just for asking a question. Wouldn't let that happen to me, though. Because I'm a real nigga. The realest nigga alive. Damn it. I'm just guessing at this point. My glorious king wouldn't be happy, but it's the only thing I can do at this point. Excuse me. I need to use the bathroom before I piss myself. Hmm. If he's doing what I think he is, then I might give him a promotion in the clan. Make it quick. Chat, I was this nigga, bro, in school, bro. I was 1,000%. 1, 1, I was going to the bathroom, Finally, trying to figure out the answer. An opening to get Naruto's phone. answers. Nigga, if he I lifts his arm brain. again before that proctor gets back, I'll be able to see what he put down by using my Sharingan. Or better known as the Edrin Gone. What a perfect yeah, name, powered by the perfect practice, edging. Since I'm in the back, I can see a few people trying to copy Naruto. So somehow he must have the right answers. And if that's the case, I'll just use my mind transfer jutsu. Mind fuck jutsu. Gaslight jutsu. Now, all I have to do is memorize these answers. He lifted his arm. I finally have a clear view of his paper. I, feel like I understand I now. Number, I'd be These questions are meant for baboon people. Like so of course this bro? wouldn't make any sense to me. Go. So instead of wasting my superior mind on these questions, I'll just get my answers from one of the chimpanzees. I also <laughs> see this as a perfect opportunity for the white man right? to prosper while stealing from the blacks. To this day, I don't know how the niggas really see a fat ass eyeball floating in front of a paper. I knew something was off with him. No one from the superior race would willingly put down such ignorant answers. He must be a half breed. How unfortunate. Unlike most yeah, of these people, I don't need to cheat. I have enough experience from the Yo, hood shout to out these nigga questions. Deji, bro. Thanks for helping me get out that classroom. I was surrounded by way too many half-breed vine swingers. And I know you definitely understand what it feels like to need a break from being around some n****. Isn't that right, Jim? What the fuck is wrong with this nigga's eyeball? It's Jim Crow's puppet. This first exam is dragging on way too long for my liking. I just want to go home and smoke the weed I bought for me and Asuma Sensei yesterday. You know what? Never mind. He probably already smoked the last little bit that was left. Isn't that Shikamaru's last bit of the weed? Yeah. So why are you smoking it then? Because he don't give a fuck. I know you heard me. So how long do you plan on sitting there with that dumbass look on your face? My fault, Kakashi. I zoned out. You know how strong this Leaf Village pack is. But anyways, what did you say again? I said, why are you, you smoking, smoking Shikamaru's last bit of the weed? Nigga, I don't know. Weed for me is like what the Green Goblin was for Norman Osborn in Spider-Man 1. I'll be chillin', then I'll start hearing the weed call out to me repeatedly. Then <laughs> I, I usually end up like smoking the weed symbiote. after. What are you even talking about? You sound like an addicted crackhead. Fuck you. Come on, Kakashi, just leave him alone. I get he's your boyfriend or whatever, but I'm getting tired of having to deal with this nigga every time he gets high. Now that's a word we usually don't hear you say without a reason. Looks like hearing Naruto say the N-word 20 times a day is bringing that 37% of African back out of you. Whatever. Talk to me once you sober up. That nigga sleep, no way pussy. he fell asleep. All right, listen up. We still have 15 minutes left, but I can see that most of you are already done. So I'm adding a bonus question worth 100% of the grade on your test. Say no more. If it's worth 100% of the grade, doesn't that technically mean... So technically, if you got every answer wrong, but get the bonus question right... Then you win. You pass. This is perfect, because I really was just guessing on every question. 
but it's a double-edged sword. Because even if you got all the answers right on the test, the but get the bonus question wrong, then you fail Skibbity the entire exam. Yeah, so wouldn't it be smart to just Brain not attempt the bonus question if you think you got all the other questions correct? But you see, if those were the only two rules for the bonus question, then that would be boring. Okay. So I'm going to add one more. If you don't take the bonus question, then you also fail the entire exam, which by default will disqualify your whole team. Hmm. This nigga doesn't know who he's talking to, because I was going to attempt the bonus either way. Plus, I got faith in Sasuke to get this question right. Wait a minute. I forgot about her. There's not a single timeline where she would be able to answer these questions correctly. All she knows is meat riding Sasuke. So there's no way she would be able to answer whatever this bonus <laughs> no, maybe question she is. Cheat, bro. Damn it. She's gonna sell the whole team. You can't do that. Mm. That's not fair. You can't just add rules like that. Especially when the test is almost over. Why not? You know what you sound like right now? Oh. What? You sound like a bitch. Now sit down and stop <laughs> complaining. Now, does anyone else have something they like need to bitch. say? He's right, though. This isn't fair at all. That basically means we just spent almost the last hour doing something pointless. It's exactly. like you want us to fail. Makes sense. I don't care if you think it's fair or if it's pointless. The third Hokage wanted a real nigga to hold the first part of the exams, so he specifically on. chose me. And I'll be damned if I let some lil motherfuckers that I watch <laughs> cheat try and tell me how to handle my test that I personally created. So you so should be happy I don't watch. disqualify some of you like I did that other team. Because at least you guys were actually sneaky about it. I didn't even have to cheat. Loki, that's a flex. Before I tell you what the final question is, I would like to give you this option as well. Talk to me. If you or anyone on your team gets this question wrong, you will forever be prohibited from getting the N-word pass and label. Mm. But if you leave now, I will let you try again next year. Just raise your hand to signal that you will be leaving. Damn it. I don't know Naruto what to do. I mean, there's a small chance that Meat Rider might get it right by guessing, but that's Naruto highly was, unlikely. Uh, so if she gets it wrong, it would lock me out of getting the label forever. But on the other hand, if I leave now, I would have to wait an entire year. And there's a chance they might not even have this exam ever again. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck you and your weak ass test. I'm not about to let some old ass nigga wearing a Timu Leaf Village do rag be the reason I fail mm. just because you want to me. add some random rules. Yo, he really motivated so the whole room with this shit. Because I'm speaking for everyone in this classroom when I say this. We're not doing whatever that weak ass bonus question is. So go ahead and fail all of us. And while you're at it, try using some cocoa butter. Cause that scar on your face is mad crusty, my nigga. <laughs> now that's how you stand on business. Hell yeah. Loud Big and obnoxious, obedient. just like the rest of his kind. I like a man soul. that stands on business. Interesting. I know that look. So is this your final decision? <laughs> Eat a dick. Eat my dick, nigga. Why you man, nigga? All right, then it's decided. I will be passing everyone in this classroom. Why, though? This seems really random. Yeah. And if you're being serious about the passing part, then the first 90% of the test was actually pointless. So we basically just wasted a whole hour doing nothing of importance. All right, listen. It wasn't fully pointless. Of course, someone worthy of the N-word pass and label 
would find a way to get answers by any means necessary. Hell yeah. But also, anyone can cheat so that alone isn't a valid test. So think of it as just a little segment to transition into the actual test. The real test started with the bonus question. So I was simply waiting for someone to actually challenge and go against the unfair rules I was adding. If that's the case, why didn't you nigger. pass us after I said the rules were unfair? You didn't really challenge me. You just complained about the rules. Then when I called you a bitch, you, you shut up down. instantly. On the other hand, this young man outright challenged me, insulted me, and refused to do the bonus altogether. Yeah. Even though he knew the consequences of not doing it. That's a real that nigga. Right there was a young man standing on business. Exactly. And since he said he speaks for all of you, I decided to pass all of you. Even though yes. they can't fight, Swingset Street might not be as trash as I thought. Now that that's out the way. The proctor for the second part of the exam should be here soon. Yo, that bitch had titties, huh? bro. That was a pretty long trip to the bathroom. Didn't you say you just had to pee? Well, you know, I drank a lot of tea before the test. And we all know how quick that builds up. Am I right? Technically, you weren't here when I gave them the option to leave. So I guess I'll let you and your little puppet slide for now. Oh, so you think you're clever, huh? Well, just because you're clever doesn't change the fact that you're a nick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the second part of the exams will be what starting tomorrow by the forest gate. And if you're not Maybe there, you I'll the come hunt you down myself. And you don't want that. Yes, yeah, they Trust me. Out. She reminds me of Kakashi Sensei. I expect to see you all at the training field tomorrow morning. And if you don't show up, I'll find you and give you some brutal one-on-one -on -one nutsack training. Yeah, they go make Naruto. People think Naruto was sus, bro. No, that's fire, bro.